Welcome to another edition of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Gold, and I'm joined today with my colleague, Dean Ali Khan, the brand new dean of the College of uh, Public Health. And Ali and his family joined us at the beginning of July, and you've now been with us a couple of weeks, and welcome. Uh, my family and I and the entire UNMC family and Omaha uh, are so grateful that you're here today. Thank you, Chancellor Gold, and it's a real pleasure to get an opportunity to chat with you this afternoon. Well, tell us a little bit about your initial experiences and, and what it's been like. You know, I reflect now back on my first six months, but it's been much newer uh, for you. Uh, I must say that when you interview for a job, you see the best of everybody, and it's kind of nice to see that's actually true. <laughs> People have been quite genuine. Um, so I came here for a couple of reasons to UNMC. The first, I would say, would be at the atmosphere that you've created. It's quite dynamic. You get the sense that you can take risks to do big things. For example, the strategy to make Nebraska the healthiest state in the union. The second is the college. Uh, it's a young college. It's a talented college. And that's really an advantage, being young and small. I think they can be nimble. They can be innovative to track the next set of critical public health challenges. And finally, what I've experienced here uh, in Omaha is the collegiality, the collaborative nature. I've just been humbled by all the people who have reached out to me and said, Dean Khan, would you join with us to collaborate on this project and that project? And it's not just on the campus. It's actually across the campus, campuses. I'm meeting with uh, the vice chancellor at UNO uh, in about two weeks. I've been invited out already to UNL to meet with the uh, Water for Food Institute, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a great atmosphere to work with people. It's a very collaborative atmosphere, and it seems like you're going to fit in just perfectly. Had a, have, have you had a chance to meet with any of our students yet? Yes, that was number one on my list. I really want to think about the college and how do we make it student-centric. Uh, and so I had an opportunity to meet with some of the senior leaders amongst our students, and I'm looking forward to welcoming the new class in August. I have some sense of things that I would like to do, uh, recognizing that health care and health is completely being transformed right now. If you think about the Affordable Care Act, if you start thinking about changing demographics, if you're thinking about technology and how are we ready for that. So that's one area that I would like to work with in the college across the campuses. I'd like to work on some of the leading causes of death uh, here within the state. That would be uh, cardiovascular disease. That would be cancer. We'll try to look at obesity issues within this state. And then finally, the reminder that Nebraska is actually an international state. We have $7 billion in exports. There's over 600 countries, uh, 600 companies that export from Nebraska. And to make sure that our students and our activities reflect the international nature of what we do. But before fixing on these goals, I'm going on a listening tour to every local health department. Uh, and so I hope as part of that listening tour and some strategic planning, when we have this conversation again in six months, I'll give you sort of a firm answer of where we're going together. Well, thank you so much. It sounds like you're doing all the right things, listening, collaborating, and being in the stage of building an agenda, but building it from input from students, faculty, from the community, et cetera. This is a great community, and it's built around the ideas of collaboration and building a future together, and it's just remarkable. Uh, Ali Khan, thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope to see you again on uh, Under the Microscope.